Hey everybody, how are you tonight? We are going to get this show on the road in just a few minutes. I hope you've had a great, great week. We are going to be sharing about women's fragrances today. <laughs> and we have some of the best out there. They smell so good. If you're on here live, if you could just put a comment in the chat, that would be awesome. We'll give it just a few minutes to let everyone get on. Oh, good. Who is hi? I am on. Oh, hi, Diana. And I don't know if she linked us with YouTube or not. So if you are on YouTube commenting, oh, hey, Brianna, Mary Catherine, Tammy. <laughs> We're glad to have you. So, so glad to have you. We'll give it just a second and then we'll get started. Um, if you are a consultant on here, you may want to tag some of your customers and so they'll be sure to be able to watch tonight. And we will be going over women's fragrances. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, tonight is What's in the Bag, and we so appreciate you joining us tonight. Um, it is, oh, there's Cleta. <laughs> hey. Okay, hey, everybody. This is Cleta. And this is Sayla. <laughs> Where's my sign? What's in the bag? In the bag. Yeah, I was just telling him we were going to get started and you were going to catch up. So I'm glad you, I'm glad you jumped back Thank on. You. <laughs> you know, when your mother calls you and your sister calls you and you're like, you're like, I better find out what's going on in the family real quick. So mm -hmm. they were all just checking in. So, okay. Oh, Thank good. you, Sayla. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we are talking about women's fragrances. So um, we wanted to share something with y'all. Well, let's say, well, let's do this. Let's hold them all up and let's just kind of tell them the prices about them, just kind of what they look like. And then um, we'll kind of go from there. Does that sound good? And then we'll show that little comparison chart. So the first one I want to show you is, Sayla, I believe you have the actual we can, is the Illuminea. Did you, did you open that bottle so they can see it? I did. Okay. This is the box of the Illuminea. And this is the... And I rem I figured out what perfume this smells like, but anyway, it there it lists some on the paper, but also there's huh. one not listed. And this is the beautiful bottle of Illuminate. Yes, this is our most exclusive perfume. Um, this is the highest end. This is eighty brought by itself, and we've had it. It's been you know on the order form for a while. Uh, well, last year it came out. And then what they did is they brought back this, and this is the body souffle that goes with the Illuminae. This is 32, but if you buy them together, it's only 99. So that's a really good deal. And so we're going to tell you a little bit more about how they all smell in just a minute. So this is Illuminae. All right, thanks, Sayla. Let's do the Bellara next. Okay. This is the Bellara, or some people say Bellara. <laughs> Yeah, if you use these products, you let us know which one's your favorite. So, gorgeous bottle, don't you think, Sayla? Is Sayla, yes. this one of your, has been one of your favorites in the past? I love this. Yes, it's one of those that I keep in my car door when I'm, and I just spray it, spray it when I get out and go in somewhere. It smells really good. 
<laughs> and you get confidence on it. So this Velocra, this one is 44. And then what they did is like a year, maybe or two years after Velocra was out, they came out with a sister cologne. And this, uh, these are Ed, Ed du Parfum, by the way. Let's let's call it what it is. What is this other one? Is that this, the Illuminaea? It is a, no, Extract du Parfum. This is stronger, okay? This is Ed du Parfum, all right? And so this this one is called Bella Ballara. And the Bella, isn't it beautiful? Okay, mm -hmm. I sell, like me personally, with my customers, this is my most popular seller, is the Bella yeah. Bar. And then this is the sister to it. The bottles are so beautiful. See, do you see yeah. the bottle she has? Yes. So I don't know how many you sell the most of them. This is the one that I sell the most of. And we will oh, talk I'll about it. So this, these are that one the most. Isn't that funny? Okay. So the next one we want to do is Cityscape. Okay. This is Cityscape. The Cityscape is 56. Okay, it has a, a brother perfume. Um, this is a Edu perfume as well. It has a cologne for the men that came out. There's Cityscape for him and Cityscape for her. So this one, this is the box. Isn't that cool? And this just pulls off. That's the lid. Isn't that cool? And so this is the Cityscape. This does not come out. It just looks like that, like a little um, a office building. <laughs> right and so yeah. this one is 56 and so when it came out it's a big big hit because you could get one for you and one for your husband y'all could both smell awesome together okay what's the next one Sayla? enchanted wish so let's pull that one out yeah i did you pull pulled the, the four the that or five that, that you, yeah and so i didn't pull yeah, it all right I just, I just pulled all of them out so okay i think this is one of the prettiest bo bottles this is Enchanted Wish. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like, it looks like, yeah, like an Enchanted Wish for sure. So it is a beautiful, beautiful bottle. This one is, how much is it? Let me see. It's 40. It's 40. 40. And this is Edu Toilette, which means it is a little lighter weight. You know, it's a little lighter than an Edu Parfum. Okay. So that, in case you didn't know, like all these names of this stuff. I know I didn't. All right. Then the next one is Forever Diamonds. Yeah, I've got that one. This one is beautiful. Even the box is imprinted. It almost, it's sparkly. It even looks kind of like diamonds. And this bottle is, it's for a perfume bottle collector. This is beautiful. It's got the etched pad and it has the um, embossed flowers on the back. It is beautiful. It's an Eau du Perfume, and it is 46. Okay. And then the next one is Live Fearlessly. Yeah. Live Fearlessly. I like the name of this one. You know? Yes. Here's the box of this one. It is 48. And this is the bottle. Gorgeous. And this came out. Here's what I want to tell you about this one. And even right now. Some of you may still have it, but there is a box that has three perfumes in it. And it's a like they're long ones. And it has live fearlessly, something Love else fearlessly. fearlessly. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe what dream fearlessly or something like that. Yeah. And so they all kind of complement each other. And so that's where kind of all that came from. Okay. And then we have thinking of love and thinking of you. I've got Almost. thinking of love. Okay, this, go is and show so cool. this is the box for Thinking of Love, but Thinking of Love has a little heart locket on the top. So um, it is really, it is such a cool little bottle and the locket makes it special. And the Thinking of You bottle is somewhat similar. Okay, and this one, the key on the Thinking of You is it has this little box, okay? These are meant to be like sweet gifts, okay? So then when you undo it, watch this. This is, I don't know who came up with it. You undo it, look at this right here. It has a place where you can write a note to someone, okay? That is, that's the top of the box. And then it's sitting on this little thing like this. It says thinking, it has a, 
It's an edgy perfume. It also has a charm. And these charms, they have a clasp on them. So you can pull them off and wear them on a necklace or a bracelet or something else. And, and Cleta, the, the, thinking, the thinking of love, this box, right inside the box, see right here, is a little note. It's a love note. And on the lid, it says, enclosed is a love note to share with someone special. Right here, it tells you that. And then there's a special little slot for the love note to go. Isn't that awesome? So cute. So both of them are just the cutest. And I remember when Thinking of You came out, it was weird because I would take them to my parties and I let everybody smell it. And y'all, like I never found anyone that did not like just Thinking of You. And yeah. like, I sold so, so many of these little suckers. <laughs> and then they came out with the Thinking of Love, kind of be a similar idea. Mm -hmm. and so, so cute, so cute. Okay, so we want to show show you uh, a little we're going to share a little slide with you am i yes i am okay this is what i want to share okay let me make sure i got the right one here okay so so Sayla and i um i printed it out to Sayla somewhere amongst my stuff here yeah um, i printed it because i knew i could. yes and this is not even the one i wanted to do this is one though this is one that i wanted to do but there's another one that i wanted to show you as well let me see if i can find the other one just a minute yeah is it this one cleated that has the, yes, the that's, the one, that's the one i want hang on That's the one I want. Okay. So Sayla and I were looking at this and we thought this was pretty cool so that you could see some comparison because you know, y'all, it's hard to sell fragrance if you hadn't smelled it, right? So let's just start with this top one, Sayla. So this is the Bella Ballara. So Sayla, read us the ones on that that would be, if you like this, you might like this. Okay. The Bella Ballara Edu Perfume has fruity notes with added florals. So other fragrances that would be in the same category are Juicy Couture, Pleasures Intense, Romance, and Miracle. So those fragrances are similar in the notes that um, the Bella Ballara is. Okay, so then let's go ahead and do the Ballara. I'll just hold them up and you can do the reading. <laughs> okay, the Ballara is an egg du perfume. It's the one in the blue. Um, it has a blend of floral, creamy notes. And other fragrances in this category are Glow, Ralph Lauren Blue, and Noah Floor. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that is 44. You can tell how long I've been in Mary Kay because like some of these old ones I've heard of, but some of the new ones I'm not even, I'm not even heard of. <laughs> okay, so Thinking of Love, Thinking of Love, tell us about that one. Okay, Thinking of Love. And also, Cleta, the Live Fearlessly is in the same yes. category. Okay, these two. Yes. Okay. They have creamy vanilla, spring freesia, vi a French violet, rose, and pink honeysuckle notes in it. And similar fragrances are uh, Lancome Tresor, Victoria by Victoria's Secret, Flower by Kenzo, Stella by Stella McCartney and Cashmere Mist by Donna Karen. So those two fall in the same category. Okay. And so next we have Forever Diamonds. Okay. okay. Um, the notes for Forever Diamond are white floral fragrance featuring notes of um, tuberose and jasmine with sparkling apricot and peach fruit. And similar fragrances are Beautiful by Estee Lauder, Pleasures by Estee Lauder, Jay Adore, Mark Jacobs Daisy, and Mark Jacobs Dot, Daisy Dreams, and DKNY Be Delicious. Okay, that's in good company. I've heard of that Beautiful by Estee Lauder, so that's good to know on that one. You know, because yeah, it's, it's been around a long time, it's very popular. So, yeah, that's, that's not <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so the next one is Enchanted Wish. Pull this back out so y'all can see it. Okay, it says this fragrance opens up with crispy, watery notes, orange oil, Brazil, and white pineapple, elegant and charming middle notes of peony and passion fruit with a warm background of brown sugar, illuminating musk, and warm amber. Um, similar fragrances are Coach Poppy, Viva La Juicy Couture, Nina, My Secret, uh, 2013, Dot by Mark Jacobs, and Taylor Swift, Wonderstruck. And that is okay. Enchanted Wish. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Okay. Thinking of you, thinking of you. Okay, this is a feminine floral, and it has feminine floral notes accented with succulent fruits, warm, comforting vanilla, and woody notes. Um, similar fragrances are Belong by Celine Dion, um, Silk Way, and Victoria's Secret Dream Again, Angel's Wish. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And then what do we have? The Cityscape. Cityscape. Okay, that's that cool bottle with the really neat lid. Um, it has red currants twisted with fresh pink pepper, um, which leads to spicy, sweet, phanto, phantomia, phantomia, orchid, and vanilla beans wrapped with velvety amber notes. Um, some similar fragrances are Armani Code, Sensuous by Essay Lauder, and Lady Million by uh, Paco Rabanne. You're doing a great job reading. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know how bad I jack up the names. So bad. <laughs> okay, say so what's the next one? Oh, Illuminaya. Illumina. Okay, so that's the Illuminaya. This one. This is our, the, our exclusive one. Okay. Yes. Okay. This has a luminous blend of exotic florals. The top notes include mandarin, pink pepper that bloom in a luminous fruity floral blend of a red apricot, orange blossom. Scarlet Peony, Water Lotus, and Honeysuckle. The fragrance then delivers a heartfelt finish with rich notes of Florentine, Violet Leaves, Cashmere Woods, Deep Vanilla, and White Moss. Okay, and so some similar fragrances would be Poison by Christian Dior, Rosso by Story Venetia, uh, Bassier Volet by Cartier, Bandit, Bandit by Piaget, um, Flower Bomb Extract Day Perfume by Victor and Ross. Angel Extract Day Perfume by Theory Muggler. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, you guys, that's a lot of information. But just know so that we, know, have, you, we have a lot of fragrances. What are you mm -hmm. going to say, Sayla? I was just going to say that, you know, fragrance is is very personal and a lot of people look for similar fragrances with these kind of notes like whatever the fragrance you love if you know if it's more warm it has warm notes or a lot of those that said vanilla and amber means that it is a more warm smelling fragrance so um that's great information and a lot of people know what notes their fragrance has so <laughs> That, that right. is good to know what the notes are and what compares to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to show that chart one more time without me and Sayla in the picture so that all of you, before you even ask me, say, how can I get that chart? Screenshot it. Okay, so here we go. Let me just share. I'm going to share the screen one more time. Okay, and then... We're going to take us out of it. Okay, so y'all can screenshot that chart. So we're just going to leave it there for a few minutes for everybody to screenshot it because I know you like it so much. Um, where did I get the chart? Honestly, I got on Facebook and I searched for it and some director had posted it. So there you go. Next week, we will talk about the men's and we will post the men's chart as well. Okay, so I just want to give everybody time to screenshot the chart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. Okay, you guys. Well, as usual, what we're going to do is anybody that buys a perfume tonight, you get 10% off. 
Okay. So just call your beauty consultant and let her know that you would like to try one of these awesome perfumes. The great thing is, is that Mary Kay is 100% guaranteed customers. So if for some reason you bought it and you did not like it at all, you could return it and try a different one, you know, and so that's fine. But so, so that's also good. Like, let's say you gave this to your mom because you think she'll really like that and she, doesn't, she can't stand it. It's okay. You can return it and you can get something else that she might like. So don't worry about it, you know? Okay. Do we got any comments, questions? Um, okay. Everybody loves the chart. Okay. Thank y'all for all the wonderful comments. I really appreciate that. And um, if you have any other, just put them in there and we'll try to answer all of them. But next week we'll be doing the men's fragrances and we will tell you all about that as well. Okay. Bye everybody. That's it for what's in the, what's bag. In the bag. Bye. <laughs>